A V-shaped sulcus leads to successful impressions. Multiple cords are usually needed for optimal impression results. The size and number of cords will vary with each patient. Pack successive cords in ascending order. The last cord placed should be the greatest diameter cord possible and should be visible above the gingival crest to prevent collapse. Pack the cord, rotating it into the sulcus against the tooth. Rolling the cord in this manner not only makes it easier to place, but also minimizes trauma. Note that the instrument does not penetrate the braided cord during packing and that the cord retains its shape, providing optimal retraction. Because the cord has been pre-moistened and easily absorbs cellular fluid, it softens and stays in place. Spray the site with water before removing the cord. The combination of gingerbread and stipton allows for the successful removal of retraction cord. The braided cord leaves no fragments and bleeding has been controlled, leaving a V-shaped sulcus that is clean and dry. The site is now ready to make successful impressions. The assistant should fill a tray with alginate, making a dimple where the preparation will be aligned. This will assure that the critical areas are captured in the syringable material. Apply identic syringable material to the preparation. Use half of a vial per tooth. Immediately seat a tray and hold until set. Wait the usual length of time for the alginate to set. Remove the impression with a definite snap. Rinse under room temperature tap water for 30 seconds, disinfect, and pour as usual. Once the retraction cord is removed, wet the entire arch with prep wet. Remove the tray from the tempering bath and attach the water-cooled tubing. Position the needle at the top of the sulcus, filling it and surrounding the preparation. Next, cover the entire coronal surface. Do not use syringe material on non-prepared teeth. Seat the tray firmly and deliberately parallel to the long axis of the prepared teeth. Initiate and maintain a 65 to 75 degree Fahrenheit flow of water. Hold the tray with steady, even pressure while the material gels. After five minutes, remove the tray with a deliberate snap parallel to the long axis of the prepared teeth. The margins and critical areas should be captured by the blue material with the remainder of the blue material displaced from the site. Once the retraction cord is removed, wet the entire arch with prep wet. Remove the tray from the tempering bath, attach the tubing, and seat the tray firmly and deliberately parallel to the long axis of the prepared teeth. Initiate and maintain a 65 to 75 degree Fahrenheit flow of water. Hold the tray with steady, even pressure while the material gels. After three minutes, remove the tray with a deliberate snap parallel to the long axis of the prepared teeth. The margin and critical areas should be captured by the tray material while the wash material, blood, debris, and saliva is displaced into the palatal and peripheral areas. This technique applies to traditional hydrocolloids and fast tempering, fast gelling quick, which has its own wash material designed to gel in less time.